Bitch, I'm the go for like I walk on water. I'm talking to your bitch, and he locked on my toilet. Walk with the block, I'm fuck on a block. All right, kings, all right, queens. So basically today what we're going to do is a mid skin fade. We're not going to touch a lot of the top because my client did not actually want to touch anything off the top. He didn't even want to trim. So because I listen to my clients, I do what they want. You feel me? Uh, he still wants to keep that going. So we just left it as is. But we did do the fade. We did do the lineup. We did do the beard lineup, the mustache, all that good stuff. Keep watching the videos. Y'all gonna see how to do all these simple things. It's not that hard. It's just practice. Keep watching, King. Y'all gonna get the hang of this, all right? It's Javi Eclipse. Keep watching the video. All right, kings. All right, queens. I'm gonna start saying queens because I noticed that we have a couple female followers on this page. So I don't discriminate. You feel me? Black, blue, black, female. It don't matter, bro. Kings, queens, whatever y'all want. We about to start off with our trimmers. First, we're gonna want to do our first guideline with which is our ball guideline. I like to use my Andis Slimline Pros only because these aren't really that sharp. And because they're not sharp, it's gonna be super easy to take out that first line that we're gonna have to start working with. And you just wanna go up above the ear and a little bit into the head. You see how I'm just dipping into the head? And the next step is to bald everything out. We're gonna bald everything out because we're gonna hit it with our foil shavers in a bit. Like I told y'all, we're gonna hit it with our foil shavers. This is my Andis Lithium Pro foil shavers. My girlfriend got me this. Thank you, my girl. I appreciate that. You know, we're trying to make me succeed. I was trying to see me succeed. But anyway, we're gonna hit it really, really light. We're gonna go in, up and out, and kind of flicking that out. Because you don't want to create a line with this. You want to go really gentle. And if you create a line with this, I'm telling y'all, y'all going to have so much trouble taking that out. The only way to take that out is with the same machine or with a razor. So be super gentle and be careful. Moving into our second guy line, I have my wall magic clips. No guard and this is an open lever. You just want to create a guideline about an inch or so all around the head. Make sure it matches up to the other side of the head. So right over here, I'm just starting out by blending as much as I can with my uh, no guard halfway open or halfway closed, however you want to see it. And I'm just flicking out. That's all I'm doing. I'm just flicking out. And mind you, this is not exactly going to take out that line by any means of your imagination. This is only going to soften it up. But what I am going to tell you is when you hit it with that zero, no guard, closed, I'm telling you, you about to take that line out like butter. This is why I told y'all to use your trimmers that aren't as sharp or just press it lightly when you make your first guideline because it's going to come out like butter. I'm telling y'all, y'all really seeing it right here, how I'm just... Using my corners, I'm going super light. Any places that I see that are a little patchier than others, I just go around it again. And with any haircut, guys, just make sure to brush or comb the hair so your canvas is clean and you're not mistakenly cutting hair that's already cut. But moving on, we're just using my two guard and this is open all the way. And this is really only just to make everything even and clear off all that bulk. You don't want to have too much hair and not see what you're doing. And then moving on to my actual third guy line, we have our one and a half guard closed all the way. Uh, you want to move this about an inch or so above your last guy line. You did, uh, you could do it a little bit more than an inch depending on how you want your blend and your fade to look. Obviously, if you want a shorter blend, you're going to go with a guy line that is less than an inch, maybe half an inch, you feel me? But then I got my one and a half open and I'm just running that right underneath where I did that one and a half close and I'm slowly reverse fading downwards. And then right here, I just switched over to halfway close with my one and I'm just going right underneath where I hit that one open. And then I'm slowly, slowly getting to that bottom line until I get to my number one guard hitting that bottom line and if this does not take that line out which in most cases it probably won't then you just hit it with your point five guard and just make sure to really use the corners you don't want to create a new line and if you do create a new line I know I know that shit sucks y'all that shit sucks after all that work you just did 
Now you gotta take out another line, which wasn't even kinda supposed to not be there, <laughs> you feel me? But you messed up, and you were too eager, maybe you made that line by mistake, whatever, make sure to use your corners. And if you don't want to use your corners, or if you're like, yo, Javi, fuck you, I'm not using my corners, then if you decide to use that full blade, if you're more comfortable with that, then make sure to really use that C-motion cup and flick out. Right over here, I got my two guard. And I'm doing the same steps that I literally did with that one, with that no guard, with the one and a half. Same thing, same steps. You're just reverse fading, going down to that line. And I'm just going to the open, down to a half, and then down to a close. But I feel like I did still see a line, so I believe I did end up using that one and a half open, and then one and a half halfway open, and possibly even closed. But you see how I'm just really going smooth with that? You don't want to be digging into his scalp. He's going to have an uncomfortable time. And this person is never going to come back to you just because of how uncomfortable you made him. Same thing. Like I said, I got my one and a half open. And I'm just reverse fading downwards until I feel like that line has disappeared. Until I feel like there is a gradiency between the no hair between the skin to the number two on top. into his shape up involving my trimmers anything that has to do with trimmers i'm taking care of that so right here you just saw me make the line in the back side of his beard and then i'm just lining up the bottom side of his beard mind you i am not making that across his jawline you do not want to do that unless they specifically ask you i personally don't like doing that because it looks like they have a whole ass double chin walking around like turkey you feel me so it's better to just do it right across like maybe a finger or two above the Adam's apple so you have that structural beard on the bottom and it looks fuller, I promise you it'll look way fuller. So right here I'm still using my trimmers and I'm just making myself a little draft just so I could make sure where I'm going to cut with the razor, where I'm going to slide my razor. Right over here for the shape up. I like to start from the corner and make my mark there and then I work on the hooks and connect it and you see how I'm just using two hands and like drawing it out like a pencil I'm just tracing it out so I'm actually leaving this part right over here because if you are looking at the shape right now it looks a little bit like a fucking right angle it looks too boxy to be a hook so I'm just going over it again if you feel like it's not the way you like it, if you're not satisfied with the shape just go over it again just be a little careful when you do it because you could mess it up even worse so right here i was very careful using two hands like i said my hands are super shaky so i'm using two hands and i'm just creating a little hook with the corner of the blade seeing it in my head and then putting it into action when i see it in person when i'm doing it when i'm trimming him up you feel me same thing goes for the other side you want to make your first 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 mark right over there where the box side is and then you make your hook and then you connect the sideburns into that hook you make that little that little hook motion it's kind of like a pencil y'all same thing i have my trimmers go on the other side fix up the beard do what you got to do with what you have to do with the trimmers you feel me don't be lazy get it all out at once and i'm promising you you're going to save yourself so much time instead of going back and forth looking for equipments instead of just doing it all in one go this is the name of the game y'all y'all just gotta be a little bit quicker I'm telling you, my haircuts used to take me two hours, G, you feel me? And now it takes me like 45 minutes, most an hour if I'm really like being super selective with the cut or with the client, you know? But it's just all about speed as well. And you see how I'm just tracing everything out with the trimmer. So once I do hit it up with the razors, it'll just come out super, super, super crispier. Alright guys, so probably the most important part of a haircut, in my opinion, is your lineup, man. If your lineup is messed up, your haircut is fucked up. You could have a messed up fade, but if your lineup is there, the haircut is automatically like a 7. It doesn't matter because you have a crispy lineup, and from the front, it looks great. So what I like to do is start from the middle, and I just tap and go, y'all. All I do is tap and go, work my way from one side, and go back to the middle and then once i go back to the middle i go to the other side you just tap and go you see i'm just tapping and going and i'm 
just being super gentle i'm going over the line back and forth so it's one continuous straight line just make sure it's straight across match it up with the other side if you have to this technique might not be the best for everyone some people prefer working from the sides in the middle but for me personally i just feel like i've done it before that way and it just came out a little bit too lopsided for my opinion i just couldn't get straight <laughs> Kings, queens, also do not be afraid of going back over your work. Go back, recheck everything the way you like it. As you see right here, I wasn't too fond of how the box shape up came out, so I just went over it a little bit to try to get it crispier with my trimmers. Uh, like I said, if you do not like something, go over it. Right here, I'm going over everything I need to go over with my foil shavers the back, the lower hairs in the back, the hairs underneath. And then what I'm probably going to hit up next after this is my razors. But as you can see right here, I'm just going in really smooth. I'm just going over the outline that I did with my trimmers. And if that does not take it out, it will take out most of the stubble that is there. And if there's still stubble, I will probably just go over with my razor. And this goes with any haircut. This tool is probably one of the best tools I could recommend for y'all. It saves you so much time and you're not going to be as messy as you would with razor. Or with razor work. And before you do any razor work, what I will tell you is to try to moisturize the skin, try to loosen up the pores. Uh, you could do that by doing a couple different things. You could grab some really slippery uh, shaving gel that doesn't dry out too quickly. Or you could use a uh, hot towel or a steamer, anything to loosen up that pores, especially if they have a super thick beard or super thick hair. So like I said, you first want to be able to prepare the haircut with some shaving cream, some shaving gel, and then start doing the razor work. The best advice I can give you for razor work is to, same thing with always, just be gentle. Especially with this because you do not want to give the client a big ass cut when they have a fresh ass cut because it's not going to look good. You could have a fresh cut, but if you have dirty scars because the barber cut you with the razor on the back of your neck, it's not going to look good. So be gentle. Pull the skin and watch where you're cutting. Some surfaces on the face are in as even as other surfaces and they're more prone to getting cuts and scars because it's not smooth. So it's your job to analyze the surface. Try to pull the skin to where you feel like it's comfortable enough so you won't damage or hurt the client. You feel me? That's the least of our worries in the barbershop. You want to make sure everyone leaves cut free. You want to make sure that you have the least amount of mistakes in each haircut. And to be honest, you probably will have mistakes in every haircut. It's just a matter of how you deal with it. It's a matter of how you come back from them. You feel me? It's just progress. It is just growth. And I'm still growing as a barber. And y'all are seeing it throughout my whole videos. My haircuts aren't perfect, but I am showing y'all what I know. And if y'all know anything that can help me, I would greatly appreciate that too. We're all about helping each other out, you feel me? If you pay enough attention to how I am going about doing all the razor work, you could actually see I'm at different angles at all times. Um, doing his razor work right next to him on his left side on his right side I'm doing the razor work in front of him I'm lifting his head up and behind him and doing his lineup it's all about angles y'all it's all about working with your tools working with your client moving their head pivoting yourself you feel me it's all about angles in order to get that perfect cut in order to get that perfect lineup you gotta be able to communicate with your clients and ask them if they could puff their cheek out or if they could stick their tongue out anything to help you and to better make the haircut you know your clients are not or mostly they aren't going to be too picky about it and they aren't really going to give you any trouble about all the things you ask of them because they know they want a perfect haircut they know they want a good haircut and in order to get that they are going to have to compromise a little bit with you you feel me right here i am just running that foil shaver right underneath this soul patch where i first got off with the trimmers and then i'm just running that foil shavers just to get any stubble out make sure it is baby smooth as well over the cheeks as well you just want to run that over the areas where you feel like there are stubbles and like i said if you can't get those stubbles out with the foil shavers then you just run it over with your razor it's not that big a deal you feel me <laughs> god damn my boy is looking crazy right now 
I know before y'all say anything, yes, we did not do anything on the top. He did not want to take anything off the top. I have asked him. He said no. But my boy is looking crazy right here. We got a mid skin fade, a beard lineup. We got the eyebrows done, the hairline done. He's looking crazy. And you can see right here, he's feeling good right now. He's checking himself out. We finally gave him a beard too. This is the cut, y'all. My boy is looking good. He's feeling his confidence rising up, and that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make sure all my clients feel good after they get their haircut. It's all about confidence, y'all. All right, King. So that was the end of the video. I told y'all I had some good for y'all. Some mid skin fade lineup, beard lineup. Y'all can look this fresh. Y'all can do this to your boys. Y'all can do this to your moms. To whoever, y'all grannies, y'all grandpapas, it don't matter. Everyone's here to look fresh. This page is about growth. This page is about looking good, about getting your confidence up, about feeling good about yourself, kings. I'm still growing. Y'all still growing. We all growing in the process. Don't, don't forget, I have my queens on this channel too, you feel me? So we're all good. We're all growing together. We help each other out. If y'all like the video, subscribe. Make sure to click on that bell notification so y'all can see every video I come out with. Help y'all out. Y'all help me out. Peace, y'all. Collecting rings like I'm Sonic. Bitches wanna.